Hey, say hi to YouTube. YouTube. Say hi. Guys, I was gonna show you my favorite spaghetti squash recipe and way to cook it, and then I already started and forgot to film from the beginning, but I'm gonna, I didn't miss much, so I'm just gonna pick up here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna preheat your oven to 450 degrees and cut your spaghetti squash in half the long ways. All right, so use a pretty big knife. It's kind of difficult. And then you're gonna scoop out the seeds. There's actually seeds and stuff like pulp on the inside. And you're gonna put them up on your pan like this you can go ahead and brush it with some olive oil if you want to put some garlic powder or something on it but I don't do that until later after it's cooked okay the oven is heated and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven thank you Arden So the spaghetti squash, depending on the size, a small one you may only need to leave in there about 30 minutes. Um, most sort of medium to large ones you're looking to closer to like 40, 45 minutes. I'm going to put mine on 40 but I might check it a little bit earlier. And while it's cooking though I'll be able to... Um, whip up the other stuff. So cook my ground turkey and um, mix up the tomato sauce with the turkey and also um, I guess I'll wait to put the cheese until the spaghetti squash is done. So let me set the timer. This is my ground turkey um, at my HEB, which is my grocery store. They actually sell 99% lean turkey, so um, that's really lean. I, I know that the Genio lean turkey is, is not 99%, so that's pretty cool that they have that. I'm gonna cut this open. Let's spray some non-stick spray on the pan here. I already had it cut on the heat a little bit. And get our turkey going. Okay, and I'm gonna use this spatula to kind of chop it up as it cooks.
All right, so these are some Italian style diced tomatoes. And I've got some tomato paste and I'm gonna kinda put this together um, with the uh, turkey and maybe a little bit of water if I feel like it needs it. But it probably won't because the spaghetti squash holds some moisture and so that'll kind of um, thin it out a little bit once it gets all mixed together. Okay, and I think I'm not gonna use this whole thing actually. There's 10 servings. Each serving's about 33 grams. So that would be 330 grams altogether. Um, I think I'm gonna use about half of that probably. So five servings at 33 grams. Let's see, 150 plus 15, 165 grams of tomato paste. So I'm gonna measure that out with uh, my food scale. I've got it on grams and it's zeroed out with the can on it. So after I remove some, I need to get to negative 165 grams. That's about a serving right there. Negative 34. Sixty-eight. Ha! Ah, negative one sixty-four, good enough. Almond milk. You don't want almond milk? Say hi to. Hey, say hi to YouTube. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, and let's mix this up here. Okay, I'll get you milk in just a minute, okay? Mm. This is looking good. Okay, time to take the spaghetti squash out of the oven. learning my kitchen guys I haven't lived here that long and don't know exactly where I put everything look at that it's even bubbly so all right so we're gonna let that cool down before we string it um, I'm not sure exactly how long that will take but at least five minutes. This is the Treasure Cave Reduced Fat Crumbled Feta Cheese. And the macros on it are pretty good, actually. Um, there are six servings in the whole container. I am going to add the whole container. There's about 3.5 grams of fat, one carb, and six grams of protein per serving. So this is actually going to add quite a bit of protein. And then, um, since this is going to make four servings, though, that's going to be a little over, it should work out to a little, adding the cheese should be a little over four grams of fat, maybe four and a half um, per serving. So I'm going to add this to it. to put in some garlic powder, a little bit of this Himalayan pink salt, 
and instead of basil, I'm gonna use this Mrs. Dash salt-free garlic and herb seasoning, which will add a little bit more flavor to it. Spaghetti squash seems okay to handle now. What I'm going to do is actually measure out in grams how much cooked spaghetti squash this is so that I can add it to the recipe and figure out the exact uh, macros per portion. Um, so to do that, I've got my food scale. I'm gonna put this bowl on it that I'm gonna put the spaghetti squash in and measure this in grams so as I put spaghetti squash in there once I've got it all out um, of the you know sort of skin here I'll know exactly how many grams of spaghetti squash I have so I like to do this with a fork um, and just kind of grab the spaghetti squash and you're gonna pull from the sides let me show you this here it's hot as you pull it out but you'll see where it gets the name spaghetti squash as it you know sort of strings apart like that looks like spaghetti and we'll add that to throw that in the bowl as we pull as much out of the flesh that we can it's coming out, if it's cooked, it will come out pretty easily. All right. Got almost one side of it done. This is already over 200 grams. See, that doesn't look like, no, it's stringy. And there's some more along the sides. You can put, get a lot out of this. And it's very low carb, it's a vegetable. Okay, much less than if we were actually having real spaghetti. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. That is 550, basically 550 grams of spaghetti squash. So that's what we're gonna go with um, for our portion for this meal. And now I will be able to mix everything together for the final product. All right, everything is mixed together, and so I am completely done. Um, I went ahead, uh, went ahead and created a recipe for this um, in my MyFitnessPal app, where I keep track of my macros each day. And after entering all the ingredients and saying that um, this is for four servings, so basically each serving. I, I can eat basically one-fourth of all this food. I just wanted to show you um, what one serving looked like. So these are my meal prep containers. That is one serving of this food. 325 calories. It fills almost uh, my whole container. Um, I measured it 
each serving was going to be about 390 grams so that says 388 pretty close um, 25 grams of carbs 41 grams of protein and seven and a half grams of fat for all of that and it's going to be really filling and there is it portioned out into all four servings so I've got three four meals for tomorrow or the next few days and then I am about to eat one of them right now.